one of the hardest parts of converting an acoustic piano to a digital piano is going to be the trap work, the pedal assembly. So what we've done here is built a trap work system that incorporates all the adjustments you're going to need all in one unit and very much simplifies the process of installing, in this case, a Casio pedal sensor uh, into the acoustic piano that's being uh, converted. You'll see here, we've actually got a slot right here and a slot here. What this lets us do is use this same unit on pedals, pedal sets with different dimensions uh, as far as how far apart they are. The uh, center is always going to be the center, and so we, we've put in slots to allow uh, that, that uh, spread, different spreads on the pedals. Uh, the uh, pedal itself has an offset, I think it's roughly about seven degrees here. It's midway between straight and angled here. And that, so that lets us, if you wind up with a pedal that's way over here, you don't put too much side strain on that system. And all of the adjustments you're gonna need are built in right here. This is the upstop right here. And then of course, uh, this is where the pedal actuates the lever itself. Right here is spring tension adjustment. So if the pedal's too light or too heavy, you can actually raise or lower this screw right here. It's slotted right in the top. This is your timing that actuates the switch on the Casio uh, pedal sensor. And so you've got all the adjustments you need right here to be able to, uh, and also, I'm sorry, right here, I forgot this one. This is the uh, downstop right here against this cushion of felt. So you've got the uh, downstop, upstop, spring tension, and timing all right on top of the same lever. E easy, very, very easy to adjust. Installation is very simple as well. Uh, it goes on a little frame like this. In this case, this one was custom built. We'll be mass producing these frames here so for, in, for grands and for verticals, because this whole system here is actually designed where the functions can be switched on these two, turned upside down and placed on the underside of a key bed for pedal rods for a grand piano. That's coming. Uh, but you'll also notice one of the reasons it's built up high with our digacoustic pianos, meaning it's, an, it's a digital piano with an acoustic, a true acoustic action, you still want to have the, uh, the damper feel. So this lever on the sustain pedal still raises the damper levers on the acoustic action, even though there's no damper felt, even though there's no strings or anything, because the feel of the damper is crucial to this being an authentic acoustic piano feel. And so below this uh, system we designed here is the trap work that will still allow us to raise damper levers and timing is adjusted right here. Now, one of the interesting things about damper timing is if the damper is timed to lift early in the key cycle, the key feels heavier. If it's timed to lift later, it feels lighter. So a good technician can actually adjust the touch of an upright piano based on the damper timing. That is so super simply done right here. If you screw this little wing nut down, it, uh, it makes the damper timing light and makes the keys feel lighter. If you raise it, they feel heavier. So not only do we have all those adjustments right here for the soft, the uh, sostenuto and sustain, but you can also control how heavy or light your keys feel uh, with this one little wing nut right here. So that's a quick overview of what's going on. I'm sure we'll be producing more videos later, going into more detail and installation, but I wanted to give you an idea of uh, what we've done here to try to simplify the most difficult process of converting a piano, which is the track work. Thanks a lot.